Hello, this is Lauren from SEO Tools for You. I just have another how to session on how to change the theme of a WordPress blog. Well, first of all, I've got this blog here, which is World of Exercise, and it's got a nice theme, but I want to change it. So I log into the admin, which is WP admin, and I click on the appearance. Click on themes. And so you can see this is the only theme I have installed here. Now I want to install another theme as I mentioned. So I click on install themes, upload. Well first of all I want to then find a theme. Now I went to wordpress.org and I happen to know that this magazine basic is a pretty nice looking theme, nice and clean. So I'll just download it. Okay. Then I'll go into my WordPress blog, back to install themes, browse, click on magazine basic. And because it's a zip format, it will upload to my blog and it will install automatically. As you can see, unpacking the package, installing the theme, and the theme is installed successfully. So I'll just click activate. And if I just go back to my World of Exercise blog, and click update. Now you can see the theme has been activated and this is the magazine basic theme. It needs a bit of alterations here so customization so as you can see it's got um, a bit of overlay here because I do have an um, email sign up here so it's actually overlaying a bit too much there so what I need to do is go into the options I've chosen this uh, magazine basic as it's got lots of um, nice uh, customization options and as you can see it's mainly uh, three columns here so let me take you on to the customization part of the magazine basic just click on customization so you can actually put in the site title and the tagline. Now I'd recommend just keeping the tagline something relevant to uh, the market that you're in. So my tagline is Truth About Apps, Vertical Bar, The Diet Solution. So those are two well-known online fitness programs. You can set up your own color. You can actually put in a background image and you can have a static front page. Now more on that later but what I want to do is click on Magazine Basic here and this is the area that you can actually do quite a bit of customization with this theme. So that's the info page, the main page. So what I want to do is uh, right now it's set to 800 pixels so I want to make it nice and wide and save it. So if I go back to my blog, just do a restart, or sorry, refresh. Now you can see it's instead of 800 pixels, it's actually gone to 1024 pixels. And it's starting to look a bit better, but still I have a bit of overlay here. And I've got some ads there already. So my next tip is to go back into the customization and let's just see front page we basically want to choose the option one and you've got a number of posts per front page I've got leave it at six let's just have a look through some of these customization So it's just the, uh, the options here are worth having a look at. 
but what I'll do is I've just uh, selected option one which is basically you can see it's just a, uh, a straight standard um, I might actually go to option two but first of all let's just have a look at what option one looks like so we save it back in refresh okay now it's starting to look a bit better We've got the uh, the tabs up here, so bodybuilding, truth about abs, and these are just categories that are listed up there. Now, unfortunately, I've I've got my Aweber plugin here, and it's actually gone across the uh, the column there, so that's that's not good. But what I might do is just uh, ignore that for the time being, and I might fix that up in my Aweber um, site. But uh, primarily, I just wanted to show you the the magazine and how to enable the mag uh, ba magazine basic theme. Let's just try option two. Save. Oh, here you go. That's right. The sidebar width. You can actually make it uh, the first sidebar width, and that, I think that's the one I was looking for for my email plugin. Let's save that. So we've made two changes. Refresh. Yeah, that's much better. So that uh, first column now is 300 pixels. And I've got a slight problem with my um, ad here. It's but it's it's not a not a huge problem. And I've just got the one the one column here for my post. So that. Sorry, that uh, I did select the option two, so it's got the one column here initially, and then it's got the two columns down here. So that uh, concludes my changing of the theme for WordPress blog. Um, if you have any questions, uh, just leave them in the comments below. Uh, hopefully, you've enjoyed the the, the how to um, change the WordPress blog, and uh, looking forward to making some more videos. Okay, cheerio, bye bye.